Ladies and gentlemen, please be aware that foul language is prevalent within the following production. Have a nice day. Welcome back to another episode of the Offenders Podcast. As always, I'm Kyle, joined by my co-host, Evan. And it's awful early in the afternoon, but I'm still here. My name's Evan Jones. Good to talk to you. Sitting to my left is the one and only professional sportscast journalist, Shane Tipton. How you doing today? Right here we are on the Offenders Podcast on this bright and s- I don't know what day it is, because it's all I care Friday. about is sports. I don't have a brain. I can only use my body. Let me tell you, ever since they put Jackson on the bench, the Atlanta <laughs> Falcons have been going downhill and fast. Isn't that right, Mr. Tipton? That's exactly right. I tell you, ever <laughs> since Coach Jimmy has just shit the bed, I have no idea what he's been doing. <laughs> Coach Jimmy. And that really rustles my Jimmy's. <laughs> hey, no tears now, only dreams. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's funny, like, you're going all sports and shit because, like, up here tomorrow there's a home game. <laughs> and it just, it's so insane up here because everybody's, like, coming to town. So all these parking lots are closed. There's porta potties all over the fucking campus. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. You know, do you think if they weren't there, people would just shit in the streets? That's why they're there. <laughs> <laughs> because people, you would just, like, I need to go to the bathroom. There's nowhere to go. So they just walk over to the corner and just drain it right mm-hmm. there and take a dump. In fact, they used to, like, a lot of buildings are open, you know, every day of the week. Except for now on game days. When there's a game day, like, every building is closed. You're not supposed to go into any building because people would be like, I need to use the bathroom. Fuck it, let's just go to the library and take a shit. And they Mm -hmm. just go to the library and use the bathroom. So then there'd be just, like, hundreds and hundreds of people coming in and out of the library just to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So now all buildings on campus are closed on game day. And they'd Except run out like of, like, toilet thing. paper, and people would start using library books, and that would be bad. Oh, yeah. You joke, but I wouldn't <laughs> doubt. you got to imagine, like, people are drinking and, like, just so, being so, generally terrible. That, so. that makes me think that they should, every time they have a stadium, they should just build a building next to it. It's, like, three stories. It's nothing but bathrooms. That's a really good idea. <laughs> True. Well, like, that's, like, one of the things I always remember going to – going to like a at the old Fulton County Stadium Braves games like the bathroom for women was always just like the line was so damn long but for men it was short and the reason it was short for men is it's just like a trough you just go take a piss in <laughs> yeah so it's just like a line of dudes just pissing in like a trough but like you know women actually would, or I guess they could piss in troughs it's probably very there's probably a lot of like you know splashback <laughs> Strate- yeah. Backwards. Backwards. You would have to change the angle. Like instead, of, it, yeah. instead of going straight on, you had to turn sideways. And you had to be lined up the other way because so, you, you had to stand over it, I guess, kind of. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is getting really weird. I mean, <laughs> but this, it, it, that's, you know, that's camaraderie because you each have to put your hands on the person's shoulders in front of you <laughs> so you don't fall. All right, yeah, all right ladies, like, are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> what happens to the person? Exercise. If you're ready to go, you're done. You're ready to stand up, but the other people are still going. Like if you stand up, then you just fucked up the whole line. Yeah, exactly. Like, Wow. <laughs> and then I would, like, pay somebody $5 to just do, like, a running slide, like, sub-zero kick for Mortal Kombat and just knock, knock everybody them down. down. Pissing as a, as a team sport. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine, like... Uh, you always get the gold, I bet. I would oh. imagine that, like, there in in Athens, when, when the Georgia games happen, like, everybody just turns into some, like, sort of just chimpanzee angry gorilla. <laughs> They're just like, <laughs> boo, boo, piss, piss, shit. <laughs> and they're just like it, jumping around and like, they're like, where are the hot dogs? I need beer. And they not just everybody. Sh- just the fraternity guys. And I happen to live on the side of town where all the frat houses are. So. And I also live like about a, maybe a five to ten minute walk from the stadium. So I'm like really, really close. So I have to see and deal with it more. With that said, though, mm-hmm. I've actually never been here for one of the home games yet. This is going to be the first one I'm here for, so we're going to see. I've already been told not to leave my apartment tomorrow. Because if I do, <laughs> my parking space will be gone. And I have to wait for them to get a tow truck to come tow whoever t- p- parks there. I mean, there are already people parking in the parking lot outside my apartment um, mm-hmm. for tomorrow. Well. 
and, and I've already seen the guy who runs the place is like, I know some people will be paying some impound fees because I'm about to tell every one of these cars that doesn't have a permit on it. <laughs> now, this He's is like, a it's... prime example of, of time that is on your hands that is a beautiful opportunity. Let me tell you why. My sensei, Haposai, told me <laughs> that when you live next door to a sorority, like you do, mm-hmm. there is no better time than a Georgia game to go in and get all their panties. What a ho! <laughs> what a ho! Well, here. Trying what a ho? Right into Hall. He right just fill up this giant bag full of panties and jump through the air with a pair of them tied under your nose like a ninja mask. Why? Well, what am I going to do with women's underwear? It doesn't recharge matter. Your... It doesn't matter what you do with them. It's called a segue into Anime Week in it, Atlanta. You recharge your, your chi energy, which allows you to live for 100 <laughs> years or more. Oh, uh, okay. That's what he does with them. Oh, interesting. So I've learned today uh, that <laughs> panties are the source of chi energy. Yes. You know, a lot of people are actually afraid of the word panties. Like, they get all weird about it. They're afraid of the word panties. Yeah. Not a lot of actual people... panties. Like, you could, really? say, you could say the word moist, and it freaks people out. The word. Oh, panties. man, it does. That's a great word to use around people who what? freak out, too. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Hold on. It's it's not like saying, like, oh, that towel's a bit moist. It's more of, like, in reference to, like, sexual stuff. Oh, like, it freaks some people out. That's it. Oh my god, she might be attracted to me! <laughs> no, it's not usually guys. It's, from my experience, it's usually been women. Uh, it's like, yeah. Oh, that word's so disgusting. Yeah. Because yeah, I was laughing about it at work the other night. We were talking about weird words, and they just couldn't even say it. I'll yeah. usually be like, so are you saying that the use of this word's making you moist? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't understand that. If there's a certain... A, I guess I'm... In the vernacular in the South, the M O I becomes E R. So moist becomes mersed. Have you ever heard that before? That no. cake is that cake just too mersed for my taste. Oh, now I have. Now that you used it in a sentence. <laughs> Excuse me. Um mersed. Could you please use that in a sentence? <laughs> that cake mersed. is very mersed. I immersed myself in the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I immersed myself in the mersed cake. Uh but so uh Back to what we were talking about before we start to mount Merced K. Um, <laughs> AWA. Yeah. Yay! AWA is a week away. I think mm-hmm. we're all pretty excited about it. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs> AWA is a week away. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I did it on purpose. <laughs> I know you did. Um, but like uh, last year, what we did before AWA was we all watched some different anime and talked about them that we all kind of picked out. And we've done it again since then, but this year we want to do something kind of similar, a little bit different. We just chose a single anime that we all watched that we're just going to talk a little bit about. So the name of this anime is Little Witch Academy. And I think it came out in 2013. I think so. And it was done by a company called Trigger, which actually was created by a lot of people who were former Gainax employees. And then for, for those of you who don't know, Gainax is the company that did, um, they've done stuff like uh, Evangelion and things along those lines. And Trigger's actually even done um, some big stuff. They've done a Kill a Kill. Hmm. So they're a pretty big company. And they, they did it as part of this... Uh, they created Little Witch Academy as part of this um, yearly thing that the Japanese Agency of Cultural Affairs does, which is basically called Janica, which all it is, it's like this big animation thing where you do these short films, and it's done to promote animators over in Japan, which is awesome. Yes. Um, but it's really short, so if it's something that you're like, oh, I don't have a lot of time to watch something, it's only 25 minutes long. But I think there's a lot that goes on in those 25 minutes. And it, you get a really yeah. good story in 25 minutes. Do one of you want to take a stab at explaining what goes on or what the story is? I'm terrible at summaries. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it starts out... All right, hold on. Now, first, this is about to be a memory test for Evan. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting. How long ago was it that you watched this? I just want to know. Yesterday morning. Okay, so approximately 24 hours ago, because I was eating breakfast while I watched it. All right, so we're about to see how good his memory is. Go. <laughs> okay, it starts off with, like, this display of how this school works. 
Uh, you see this mysterious woman who's obviously a graduated witch from the academy, mm-hmm. and she just kind of goes through her skills, and one of the people in the audience you figure out as the main character, she's like, ooh, I love this, this is great. And then it kind of follows that character as she goes through the academy. Yeah. And you get to see the people that she meets who become like the uh, the side characters, a.k.a. her friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a girl that's kind of like uh, the Ron, if you will. She has short red hair. Then you have the Hermione, if you will. She has longer hair. And uh, basically it's just them. And then you get to see the asshole characters, you know, that are just yeah. perfect and that nobody likes <laughs> except for the... the the except hangers for, on. Except for the other asshole characters. Except for the other asshole <laughs> characters. You see the character who's secretly another character that you saw earlier, but you're not supposed to know that unless you deduce it on your own. <laughs> and then um, you find out all the ins and outs of the magical stuff and and how the different schools of magic work, because each of them have a different specialty. And yeah. Some shit happens. <laughs> shit. Some shit happens. Some shit goes crazy. And then all the shit comes together. <laughs> How's that for a summer? That's a pretty decent summary. It is. Um, Thank you. It was only so, 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. Basically, an hour a minute uh, is what we were asking you to remember. Evan. <laughs> yeah. <hour> a minute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so just to, to get a little bit more into it is that the main character, I think her name's Akko. 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 She um, does not come from a, wizard, a witch family. Like, so she has no Filthy mud blood. She comes exactly. from a very poor family, not witch at all. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, this is a very it's it's so much Harry Potter stuff. Like it's 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 really kind of funny how how Harry Potter it is at times. But uh, it's funny because when I watched it, I was like, it's like somebody watched Harry Potter and you're like, you know what? The school in Harry Potter was pretty irresponsible, but not irresponsible enough. Let's make them even more irresponsible. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like, all right, you're going to learn to fly. Just get on your broom and fly away. No safety equipment or anything like that. Yeah, it's not, It's not. no, it's not get on your broom and fly away from the that ground. One, it's kick that was you Harry off Potter. Tower. Yeah, that's right. This is like, here's a tower that's like 50 stories tall. Jump off that and learn to fly. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> it's like the old buzzard. The fucking Looney Tunes cartoon? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nope. But so, yeah, like, uh, the main character, Akko, she's kind of shitty. Like, she's not a good witch. She's really bad at it. Um, and then, of course, the the kind of bitch character, I think her name was Diana. The bitch yes. witch. She's really good. Now, I don't know if this, if you guys realize this, but in the very beginning when they're showing, like, the uh, Akko when she's a little girl watching the... Uh, the uh, other witch do her like stage show. Mm-hmm. Diana's in the audience as a little girl. Oh, I, didn't, yeah, I she, did not notice that. I did. Yeah, notice she's that. in there. Uh, so that's why, like, they keep. Ref- the thing is, is that the 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 character that Akko wants to aspire to be is not really. I guess she's frowned upon in the witch society. Like they don't like what she does because she's kind of a show off, and she kind of like, I guess, puts down what they do. But, so, for somebody who doesn't do that, or who's not from that society, like Akko, of course, she's like, oh, she's really awesome. Mm. But, so, there's always this kind of, like, oh, yeah, your hero is a a loser, or stuff like that. <laughs> so she always gets really angry, and she's she's kind of that, uh, that character that's in a lot of anime that's, like, the main character, but she's really goofy and accident-prone and sucks at what she does. But then, like, the moment she has to, she can be really amazing. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, to go back to one of the things you talk about being irresponsible, I like the whole like, oh, hey, we want you to go into this dungeon that happens to be under our school, yes! <laughs> yeah. filled with fucking monsters, and just bring back some treasure. It's great. And it I... just happens one of these monsters was sealed away for years in something that like anyone could open, evidently. Yes. <laughs> and might I any, just add, any beginning witch in school can open this thing. Yeah. <laughs> it took like. About seven blasts of magic that this thing was eating in front of them before they realized, hey, it's getting exponentially larger Mm -hmm. every time I attack it. And they don't for once think, I should probably stop doing that. They're like, don't, I better give it some more magic. The the worst thing about this is like, okay, we have this, this monster that absorbs magic. The best place to hide it. It's underneath a magical school. Yeah. We yeah. Should have a giant magical stone at the top of this place. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't tell the kids, hey, there's this one thing you can't open. 
Because if you do, we're not going to be able to stop it. Exactly. <laughs> They're just like, oh, go down in there. <laughs> good old mm-hmm. <laughs> Also, I would like to add that my favorite part of this was the character design for the monsters because they all looked really, really cool. Like, yeah. You can kind of see some of the similarities that they had from uh, like Evangelion. Like if you look at the way that the angels' mouths are shaped and stuff like yep. that, you can kind of see it in the dragon. And yep. I really enjoyed all the stuff. Like there's a big summon at the beginning of the film, and that was really cool. But that was, by by and large, my favorite part, was just seeing all the different monsters. Because the other parts of it were just kind of like, eh, whatever. But I like the potion girl. She was funny. Yeah, she was great. Yeah. So- Susie? Susie. 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 Susie, yeah. I thought I heard that wrong. Like, the first two times, like, what? Oh, no, that's what it is. Okay. Saucy. <laughs> I thought it was Susie, and they just couldn't say it right at first. You can never tell. Because sometimes they, they just make up a name and sometimes yeah, but, they're trying to say a name and they can't mm-hmm. say it and because there's actually characters in there with like american or british names right. like diana i hear there's diana cavendish if i remember correctly which that's not japanese for those of i'm you pretty don't know. sure they could say susie because there are z there are z sounds in japanese mm-hmm. i thought it might have been a like a tribute to sushi susie and the banshees because the girl had hair over one of her eyes, and Susie from Susie and the Banshees has hair over one of her eyes That's, as well. It might be. And she's oh. kind of a goth type. I character. bet it is. I bet it is. There's a lot. Of, I mean, because it's already kind of a an homage to Harry Potter. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they it, even said Sorcerer's Stone, even though that's an actual genuine folklore thing. Right. But, but um, the the thing with this too is that like it did so well when it came out, like it it won this award and everything that they actually wanted to do a second like episode of it and they kick started it and i think the original like money they wanted was a hundred thousand and they got that and then they're like well what we're going to do is that we'll make a stretch called five hundred thousand and we'll actually make it rather than like another 25 minutes make a 40 minute one and we'll actually do like a behind the scenes and making of if we can reach our stretch goal of five hundred thousand when the kickstarter closed they had over six hundred fifty thousand dollars so they're doing another one that's like supposedly 40 minutes or so with like some extra behind the scenes of making of and things like that. So that's pretty cool. And then like the rumor is that if it does, if that does well, they may actually even do a full length series or movie for it too. Hmm. What kind of wacky gifts did they have for contributors? Like the first 10 people who contribute get burned hair from the dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if I can pull it up. Random out. potion bottle. Drink it. See what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that dragon, another of my favorite parts was the Wile E. Coyote look on its face when it yeah. taken out. It yeah. looked just like Wile E. Coyote. Yeah. He did. <laughs> He's like, oh shit. <laughs> that was the oh shit face. I noticed that. That was great. I'm going to go down to the really expensive ones. Like, what did you get? Oh, Raul, they didn't really have that many. If you pledge 10000 which oh. five people did. What? Holy shit, they must really like that anime. You're a fan that truly wants to see the magic happen. This reward includes everything in the 2000 tier, okay, as well as a visit to the Studio Trigger and dinner with Studio Trigger team, including two nights accommodation. You can visit. You can also visit the offices of related companies such as Ultra Super Pictures and Good Smile Company. I guess those are two other anime companies. Hmm. Yeah, 2000 was everything, of course, is the lower stuff, but also a script signed by the cast of the series and receiving an original... Shikishi signed by the illustrator. I don't know what that means. What's a Shikishi? That's actually a very large Fijian wrestler from the WWE. He used <laughs> yeah. to put his butt in people's oh. face. So you get assigned him. That's pretty I think cool. that's Rikishi. Oh, yeah, that's Rikishi. Uh... My bad. That's his sister, Sakishi. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, this is supposedly... They they want to release the, the new one uh, by December. I, and I think it was last I heard when I was kind of first looking into this is that it was pretty close. Like it should probably happen if not before December. Hmm. But um, so o- overall, what did you think of it? I mean, it was okay. I'm I'm more of a anime type anime guy. I mean, I like some stuff like Nietzsche Joe is pretty much straight up for you know like the high school era. But this was okay. It's just not exactly my cup of tea, if you will. But I enjoyed it, you know. It was only 25 minutes. It was something to do while I was eating breakfast. <laughs> I'd watch it. It's just got enough funny stuff in it that I would watch it. Yeah. I, to me, like, I like Studio Ghibli stuff. 
and it reminded me a lot like that. Like, it was kind of cutesy, and it had, like, this, you know, feel-good kind of plot to it, and, um, but it wasn't, like, fan service and crap like that, so I enjoyed you gotta it. say crap. Now this this would be a film that I would show to a girl that I wanted I would want to get into anime, especially if she was a fan of Harry Potter. And be <laughs> like, look, it's not all tentacles and exploding heads. <laughs> look at that cute girl doing the little magic fireworks. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's watch this. Oh, that was good. You got anything else like that? Yeah, here's some more. I took a date. You were gonna watch that. It's pretty good. <laughs> you should take your clothes off for this though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay attention to the seventeen penises growing from my crotch area. Just keep watching the... Oh, I never pay attention to 17 penises growing from the crotch area. <laughs> oh, like, you don't must be worry. from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Evan. No one's going to pay attention to your crotch area. <laughs> Sad but true! <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen it, check it out. It's uh, Little Witch Academy. It's 25 minutes long. I think it's up on YouTube. Like subtitled, like it's there's not it a totally for it. is because even though like I downloaded it from your thing, I happened to be on YouTube when I thought of it, looked it up, and just watched it there. <laughs> yeah, the com the company put it up on YouTube to get more press for it, so check it out. I mean, it's I, I thought it was good. It's only 25 minutes, so you can watch it while like Evan said, eating breakfast or something, just chilling out. You could also do it while eating lunch <laughs> or a midday snack. <laughs> not dinner though; that's unacceptable. <laughs> nope. Well, dinner's usually, I think, more than 25 minutes. Especially if you're Kyle and you eat slow as shit. <laughs> oh, for a... <laughs> This gets into an AWA discussion. <laughs> Evan Jones with his speed eating or drinking. I was hoping you'd flip out when I said, Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> So, for... All right. So, this is something that happens at all conventions I go to Evan with. <laughs> Let's get some food. <laughs> oh, that was great. Yeah, literally. We'll, we're, you know... For those of you who go to conventions, you understand that a large part of them is standing and walking around. There's nothing wrong with that. But there comes a point where you're like, you know what, I just kind of want to sit down and chill out for a bit. And <laughs> let's get something to eat. It's, it's lunch. Okay, cool. So let's go over to the food court. We'll sit down. We'll get some food. And we'll eat. And most people take that as this is going to be my 30, to, 30 minutes mm -hmm. to an hour to kind of chill out. Get some food in me, relax my legs and my feet, rest, and just kind of talk about some stuff. Evan gets his food, and it's like, <laughs> all right, let's go. Like, oh, dude, <laughs> did you taste that? Do you know what you just put in your body? No, you just sucked it in. There are 17 women in bikini cosplay waiting for us to not look at them, so we'll wait till they're not looking, and then we'll look at them. But no. <laughs> You want to have a mimosa. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You act like you act like they're not walking around the food court anyways. That's true. I know. I was just making that. That just gives you more time. In fact, so let's let's look at this statistically. <laughs> oh shit! I'm getting professional. If you are constantly walking around, and other people are also constantly walking around, you're moving with these people. So. Unless people are passing you by, you're not going to see really any different people other than those people you might happen to see standing around. However, if you stand in one place and everybody else is moving, you're going to see a lot more people because they're all moving by you. I kind of agree with that. You kind of have but a let better me tell chance. You, let, let's, let's get down to brass tacks here. <laughs> the reason that I eat so fast, I realized this the other day, is because I played River City Ransom so much as a kid. <laughs> Now, for those of you who have played it, you remember that Alex, a.k.a. Cuneo, when he goes to Merv's Burgers, eats the whole goddamn plate with the burger on it in one mouthful. And it's gone. And I've played that game so much, it has influenced me so much in my life that I've tried to beat up people and turn them into money, which does not work, no matter how many times I've tried it. And also, I cannot eat everything in one bite. No matter how many times I've tried it. I've gotten close. I can do it with a cupcake. I can do it with cookies. <laughs> Pizza is a little difficult, but I did it with a very small piece. But for the <laughs> most part, you know, if it's a burger and french fries, I'm definitely not eating the plate because I'm not a goat. You know? <laughs> but what the point is, thing. if you play video games and you look up to that character, you're going to aspire to have some of the qualities. And Kunio is a badass degenerate who can beat the shit out of people with Stone hands and dragon's feet and acro circus. And he can also eat shit and then get right back out to business. Oh my goodness. 
Of course, and this is like this is like a, a natural progression because usually in these type of games, your girlfriend has been kidnapped. Yeah, you can't fuck around spending your time sitting around <laughs> eating. You got to go save her. You got to go beat the double dragon's asses <laughs> because they have taken your girlfriend and they're at the other fucking high school. So you got to say, "Hey, Ricky, <laughs> I know you and I usually fight, but these assholes have my girlfriend, and until that happens, we can't fight anymore." And Ricky's like, "Okay, temporary truce." <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm really going to cosplay as one of them. That would be awesome. I want to see a game where, like, it starts up and one of the guy's girlfriends gets kidnapped, but it's more like real life. And it's just like... They're like, like There's finally! A- exactly! It's like, finally, God, I'm, I'm going to go help them. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to Hooters, man. This is going to be great. I'm not going to take the trash out for a whole week. <laughs> oh, not man. necessarily the guy themselves, but the guy's friends. Like, hey, can you help me save my girlfriend? No, I hate that bitch. Yeah. I'm glad she's gone. Dude, you know what? You don't oh, have to make man. your bed now. <laughs> it's it's not so much like fun. It's just like, well, I mean, guys, you know, there's other girls out there, man. Like, why why should you burn yourself to go through all that effort to get her back? You know what? I think you're better off without her. Let's just let's just give it a couple years before we jump to any conclusions about rushing out and saving her and things like that. Exactly, Next. and I'm I'm a progressively minded individual. It's sexist for me to believe that a woman <laughs> needs me to save her when she can damn well do fine on her own without no man. <laughs> what she would be no what man. would be even funnier is like you know they they've taken them and then like they can't stand her, so they're trying to bring her back, and then the guy is out there on the street fighting them to stop her from getting back to the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna take her. <laughs> It's like, no, once he sees her, it's gonna, I'm just gonna be stuck with her too, cause we're friends. So I'm gonna stop you from bringing her back. That would be an awesome game. I've never seen a game like that. Well, now we have an idea to make a lot of money. Get started, <laughs> Shane. If only we could program. That's just true. <laughs> and ideas have artistic skills. Yeah, ideas yeah. are the easy part. It's actually doing the hard, the other shit that's hard. Let's make a Kickstarter, make this happen. But, um, <laughs> I'll just say one last thing. Like, this, this is another thing, and I think. Evan, you, you kind of hit on this, is that when it comes to the eating side of things, you're very American when you eat. Meaning, <laughs> Hell you know, yeah. meaning, like, if you go overseas to other countries, like, when you sit down to at a restaurant, mm-hmm. they're not rushing you out. They actually expect you to come sit down, eat, and unless you ask for the check, you could sit there for a couple hours. Mm-hmm. But in America, it's the opposite. It's like, you know, you're sitting there with the food in your mouth. Is everything okay? Do you need something? No. All right, well, I'm going to bring you your check. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, it, it's it's the rush of America, and I think you eat like that, too. I mean, I know, like, let's get an iced coffee. Cool. Evan gets the biggest iced coffee he can, and in five seconds, it's gone. So I'm like, <laughs> wow, you didn't even get to savor that, dude. You just, like, inhaled it. I eat pretty fast myself, but it's just something that there's no real reason. I just, I, I just eat quick. I'll just, I'll tell you why it is, because I love food more than you do. I can't take it in fast enough. I want to absorb every fucking molecule of that food as fast as possible, because I love it so much. We're both fat kids, so yeah, I guess that's true. (laughs) I'm still a fat dude, so. (laughs) You know, my problem with restaurants is not them rushing me. It's It's when, like, I have, like, something to drink. I don't drink a whole lot. But I hate when, like, it's down, like, a third of the way, and they just take it and refill it, because, like, I might have been done with it already. It's gotten to the point where, like, I'll move it somewhere else. I actually played a game, especially at the Chinese, Chinese restaurant. Chinese buffet, yeah. I would play this, because, first of all, there were ninjas. And, like, I, I would look away for a second, and the, the drink would be refilled. I'm like, fuck. So I started putting it, like, I started putting it, like, on the other side of the table, and sometimes they'd still get to it before I could stop them. I'm, I'm, I'm going like, to say this right now, though. For every one person like you... <coughs> There's five Michaels out there. <laughs> Why am I drink full? <laughs> I know more people like that than I do like you when it comes to the drink thing. Because there'll be there are people who literally put a drink down and they ebb in it. They're just like gone. And then like the people are like, well, shit, I'm gonna have to keep filling drinks at this table, and they just do. Or they'll bring pitchers. <laughs> and Mondo, dude, man, he's the worst. Like he won't even make eye contact with the waiter. When the waiter walks by, he just touches the top of his glass. <laughs> I'm like, like you, like, dick like he's in the fucking wow. five star restaurant. He just <laughs> taps the top of his fucking glass. Doesn't even say please or thank you. It'd be better if he's like, "Hey boy, uh, I need some more drink." <laughs> hey boy, 
That's oh, pretty man. terrible. <laughs> That's fantastic. Who does that besides Monday? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> but back to AWA. Yeah. I just want to. I'm. I'm about to say something, and I'm going to go out on a limb here. Uh-oh. So I might. We are called the Offenders Podcast. So this might be a little offensive, but I'm just saying what everybody's been thinking. Yeah. That maid cafe fucking sucks. I've never been to it. Did we? I don't. I think I don't, every time. I, don't remember, I remember seeing it when we went last time. Yeah, I mean, no, I see the maids walking around trying to get people to go, but I never go to it. Let me tell you. I've been to a lot of maid cafes because I am a very weird man. <laughs> Everybody knows that. So I have been there and I've studied them extensively. So like if you were on a TV show under your name, it would say connoisseur of maid cafes? No. He's no, a, he has a, it would say he has a sad P- old weird man. He is a PhD in maidology. Yes, <laughs> maidology. So like <clears throat> in Japan, the idea of a maid cafe it's like you go there and you're treated like you're royalty. Now, this isn't sexist. They have butler cafes for women as well, so you can't say that. The thing is, it's, it, it exploits both sexes equally. Let me put it that way. It exploits them equally. So you go in there. You're not forced to do it. If you don't want to do this job, then you don't get it. Yeah, it's not like there's a slavery ring where it's like, you're going to live your life as a maid cutting food. <laughs> I, was, I was just walking down the alley and they put this rag on my phone. I woke up, I was in a maid costume. I don't know what's going on. That would be like... Well, so here's, Before I digress, let me get back to yeah, that. So what's the question? That, so here's my question. What happens differently at the one at AWA? What makes it so terrible? Okay. In Japan, like, you order off the menu. They bring you, like, we'll say that you order a coffee. They ask you how many creams and sugars that you want. They bring them out there to you. They stir it for you. They mix it up. You taste it. Is that good enough, sir? Nope. I'm a jerk. I want more cream. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. How's that, sir? Well, they call you master or mistress or whatever the fuck you are when you go in there. <clears throat> and it's like, okay. They bring you your food. They cut your food up and they feed it to you. <laughs> they ask you how was work. Like like they're genu- like they genuinely care. They're like, oh, that's a nice suit. Because that's, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. At the AWA cafe, it's like... Hi, welcome to the maid cafe. What you want? <laughs> it's like, did I just walk into fucking McDonald's? Well, the what AWA maid cafe is basically, hey, we're dressed like maids and we're going to serve you food. That's what exactly. it is. It's, it's just a restaurant, which is a shitty restaurant, and it just serves you food. They don't use any of the, the lingo. It's just like women dressed as maids bringing you food. And it's like, for some reason, I feel so sorry for all those bastards who wait like an hour to go in there. They're like, ah. A real maid cafe. And it's like, no, god damn it. That's not a maid cafe. That's, That's a funny. farce. That's like, no, no, no. What you don't understand is when they read the description, it's like, oh, all right. So we dress as maids. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we're really polite to people. Well, this is really polite for me. I was like, welcome to the maid cafe. What do you want? Because usually they'll be like, what the fuck do you want, asshole? No, that's Cups a dairy, dairy one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if they did it that way, they'd be doing it right. <laughs> it wow. turns out that most of the restaurants in that mall area are Sundari cafes. <laughs> well, that's not true. They're like, they're just terrible people. Because <laughs> yeah. it's not that they're they really like restaurant. you. They're not really like you up under it. They really don't like you. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, God damn it, these fucking nerds show up at a fucking mall again. Every year. I can't stand it. <laughs> so, um, you know, another thing I saw this year uh, that was linked to me on Facebook that's having an AWA is they're actually having like a uh, 21 and up get mixer. together yeah mixer yeah. which that's something very new because usually like that's one of the things that i was telling somebody about awa is like there's a bar like where everybody hangs out that bar is always empty like no mm-hmm. one's in there drinking and i'm like why but then it, you realize it's because most of the people are so much younger most of them probably can't drink yeah it's it's put together by dave the guy who originally started anime week in atlanta it's saturday at 9 p.m i think mm-hmm. so we can go there and kill a little bit of time before we head over to manime yeah. It does look pretty cool, though. I, I saw them talking a little bit about it in the uh, in the Facebook group. Yeah. So it'll be worth checking out. I mean, I'll just go in there and probably have nothing in common other than anime with everybody because it'd be like, hey, you want a drink? I'll be like, nope. <laughs> Was it an open bar? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. No, it's a cash bar. Oh, that's fine. Oh, well, that's cool, though. I mean, that's it's cool that they're kind of branching out to try something like that because that is one of the things that WA is. It's always like... 
I mean, it, there's nothing wrong with that, but like there, it doesn't have kind of a chill out atmosphere like Dragon Con does. It's kind of like a party. So let's get down to brass tacks here. <laughs> Basically, when you walk in there, you say, "I know I can sleep with these women." What? what? Because they're at least 21 years of age. Oh, you mean uh, it's safe? Yeah. This is a safe zone. I thought this you were talking about, zone. like, I don't can sleep with these women because I'm going to get them drunk and fucked up. <laughs> I was like, damn, Evan, that's messed up. And then they're going to wake up. What am I, a Georgian fucking fraternity guy? What are you? Then they're going to wake up in a maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I woke up in a maid outfit sitting at a table with coffee in front of me with a note that says, get started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what to do. I just <laughs> how much cream and sugar I'm new to this. God, that's hilarious. So, that's um, like the the lowest level of discomfort that you can have. It's like a human traffic slave. God, <laughs> terrible. She really and even talking about really that. nice clothes, and I have to stir coffee all day. And I, and I get a really big tip too. I get and I don't even have to touch anybody. And it's people look at me nicely. It's terrible. <laughs> so, uh, ha, what other stuff have you, are you looking forward to at AWA this year? Number one, I believe it's around noon on Friday. Is the 30th anniversary of Fist of the North Star panel? That's oh. going to be great. Yeah, that should be cool. Even if I just sit in that room and they tell me the history that I already know of every character, <laughs> I know I am in a room full of my family. And I will soak up the good chi, and I will enjoy every fucking second of it. I'm hoping that there will be some cosplay, because that would be great too. But if not, as long as people are talking about Fist of the North Star for 30 minutes to an hour, I am in the zone. That should be cool. Yeah, it's going to be fucking awesome. All right, talk so amongst else? yourself. I'm gonna bring up the schedule on my phone. Okay, I know. Um, there's anime as always. That's Saturday night. They pretty much got that locked down. They've got that giant ballroom again. So, because it's rumor that, has it, this is the last one for a long time. Well, may, I mean, it sucks, but I kind of see, like we've discussed this off air, but I kind of see why because when they first started, like there really wasn't a lot of new manly anime coming out. It was, I mean, there's still there's not a There's a lack of lot. new types of that. Yeah, there, fact, there's still not a whole lot, but there's some. Well, JoJo's, they're re-releasing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Toriko, kind of. Um, <laughs> that was really loud. I'm so, I tried to turn away from the microphone. My apologies. Okay. Well, it's it's just because your nose is so big, it amplified it. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's in good lineage. But, um, oh, I forgot. Okay, so... But yeah, I kind of understand they're they're taking a, a break from doing it again every year because the, also it's not like they only do it at AWA. They do it at like so many conventions, so it's probably kind of like, oh man, this thing again. And it does, has it doesn't change much over the years. I mean, there's new stuff they add and some things they alter, but it's still kind of the general thing. I still enjoy it. I think they should do one more next year, but instead they just have like a bunch of like girly anime on there just to be completely different. <laughs> and then it's like it was such a sausage fest before that we're just like we're gonna do something different. I don't it think it would be like woman anime. Yes, woman anime. It would be a total roast beef fest. I don't think they do it. Fest. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so terrible. So well, a bubblegum fest is that better? No, better. no, a fish market. Fish. Oh, there you go. <laughs> if, if a bunch of guys is a sausage fest, then a bunch of women's a fish market. Fish market. Fair That's enough. enough. Okay, so I forgot to mention, this is really important. They, for the for the last couple of, uh, well, for, for pretty much forever, it's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But this year, they have packed a shitload of stuff in to do Thursday night, which yeah. is great. Um, for me, one of the things that I'm looking forward to is the worst anime. Like, bad old school anime. So they're going to have a bunch of silly-ass old anime that people have never watched, probably why. So it's kind of like a little teaser for the totally lame anime. Oh, man. I I, I hope there's a discussion about that damn Penguin anime again. Because that shit is... So, I want to watch that Oh, dude, that you know shit. that's going to be so weird. bad. Kyle's going to... Kyle, Kyle's, Kyle's going to run up there and punch the person just take the fucking copy. Yes. It's like, fuck you guys. I want one. Even I'll if it's on LaserDisc, like I would I'll... go buy a LaserDisc player just to watch that shit. 
<laughs> we'll just like we'll dress up as ninjas, right? And we'll find the guy who hosts the thing, and like I'll create a diversion, and then Shane can like mm-hmm. chloroform the guy, and then <laughs> Kyle will be like the the Dexter, if you will. He'll tie him to the chair and be like. Okay, where's the laser disc? But the, that, <laughs> that dude even said he doesn't own it. Somebody else owns it, and he won't let him make copies of it or anything. Like the, it's one of these guys who it's like it's a collector's edition because so many, so few people have it. So I don't want anybody else to see it. Well, fuck you, you piece of shit. It's let called me, a hipster. Let, let me tell you what I would do in this age of the internet. I would copy it, put it on the internet. No one would know where it came from. He wouldn't know that I copied it. Who gives a fuck? So now right. we have a plan for Thursday night. Find this guy. <laughs> That's probably why the guy doesn't let other people get it because of that. It's because he knows that's what science going to do eventually is they're going to make a copy of it and put it up. I, and I wish I could remember the name of it. We'll probably hear it again, and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to write it down this time. But I searched, like, right after we left that one, I was searching everywhere for it. I'm like, there's got to be a copy of this goddamn thing on the Internet somewhere. Nope. There are clips, she wa- but not a she whole wa- movie. She was say something. She was say means happiness. Yeah, she was say Penguin memories or something? I can't remember. Penguin exactly. memories, I think, is what it was. So happy penguin memories is what it is, okay. which is somewhat of a complete lie. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> if for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, go listen to our last one, uh, our last <laughs> AWA post talk up. That shit was that that anime is so crazy. <laughs> Another thing, <clears throat> I forgot. I've been I've been planning this for a while. There are three different karaoke events, and I have been planning this. There's a band called Rise of the North Star, which usually is fucking terrible because the singer raps, but there's one song that they that they wrote called Raoul Gaiden about the fucking movie, <laughs> Raoul Gaiden, and it's like this awesome, hardcore, heavy fucking song. So I was like, hmm, how can I sneak this past them? I know. I'll make... My own YouTube video that's called Raoul Gaiden Karaoke. <laughs> I'll make the picture the cover of the DVD. So that way when they pull it up, they think I'm going to be singing some fucking old school, like, Frank Sinatra, Fist of the North Star, 1970s sound and shit. But then it's too late. <laughs> so have you already metal, done this? The hardcore has arrived. Yes. So the reason I'm saying this is it's not too late for you gentlemen. <laughs> There's a song you want to make. YouTube is there waiting for you. You could take anything. You use Windows Meet Movie Maker. You take a picture. You take a song. You put them together. You save it as a WMV. You upload it to YouTube. You change it to whatever the fuck you want it to be named so it looks like it's something that everybody else would choose. And mm-hmm. then you get up there and you have your fun. <laughs> okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> it's not that big a deal to me. I'm glad, though, it is to you, Evan. That's what matters. <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because as a fan of hardcore and metal, it's very difficult to exist in the anime fandom because everything <laughs> is fucking techno and pop. Which is cool if that's what you like. Hey, that's awesome. Like it, love it, want some more of it. <laughs> However, that's not my slice of pie. thought I was going to say cup of tea, but I didn't. This, this amuses me. <laughs> because it's like, I realized that 99% of everybody at this convention for people who like this kind of thing don't like this. That's why I'm going to sing it anyway. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's it's well, the for thing the is, 17 is that... people out there who are just like, holy shit, that's some metal. That's some hardcore. Well, the thing We is, have a voice. They may not like the music, but they'll enjoy Evan doing it because they'll be funny and That's different. Because otherwise, it'll be like it, it happened at Momocon. Like they literally, when it, they started doing the karaoke, they were like, "Okay, um, there were certain things like the Pokemon theme and songs from Frozen." They're like, "We are not going to let individuals sing those every hour. We'll just do a group <laughs> sing along." Because otherwise, it would just be nothing but Frozen songs the entire fucking time. And so they're like, what we'll do is we'll do that. I thought that was really smart. And so most people start off singing actual, like, stuff from anime. Except the or the one, fucking Bodyguard song. Yeah, but the girl, bef- man, the girl who sang before you, she sang um, something from Phantom of the Opera. And she wasn't half bad, actually. She was pretty good. And then Evan gets yeah. up there and does his um, metal. I, they I did it. Hammer Smash Face yeah. by Cannibal Corpse. It was great. They loved it because it was different. Um, and everybody remembered him, too. That's what made it. They're like, oh, yeah, you're the guy who did metal at karaoke. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I think you, the problem, though, with the AWA one is I don't – that karaoke line is so ridiculous. I don't think we've ever done it because it's so long. 
So that, I think like, that's why they made three of them. Is there is there clowns <laughs> in it and like fish? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get it. Shane, you're a fucking genius because it's ridiculous. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's children eating dirt pies over there. <laughs> Cause I remember one time asking, and it was like 9 o'clock, and it had barely been going for an hour. I was like, okay, so how long is the line? It's like, we've already cut it off, but this goes till midnight, right? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Gina? Don't forget um, Calm Sweet, in case we need some snacks. I don't understand the obsession with this, guys. You guys were all excited about these fucking stale-ass cookies. Y'all can do yeah, that shit on your own. Good as shit. What are you talking about, man? I'm Never even made cookie. it there. I know. Me and you, I think me, I think everybody's gonna try to go and like fucking John, like free fucking cookies, free cookies, man. Just go free fucking cookies. Like it was like he went to the con for free fucking cookies. He spent fifty fucking dollars on a three day pass for free fucking cookies is how excited he was. And he got up there and he came down, and he's like, Man, these damn some good cookies. You're like, they're fucking cookies you could go buy at the damn store across the street. What is the obsession with these shitty ass fucking cookies? Whatever. Free cookies. Free. 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 Eat the cookies. Eat all of them. All the cookies. You know what the best part was? John's always kind of like laid back. Gift's always totally laid back. But he was like, you know what they made me do? They they told me I couldn't get on the elevator. They told me that I couldn't ride down to ride up. And I I said, I'm going to ride up on this elevator. Mm-hmm. But they made me get off. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, remember he was so goddamn he mad that he couldn't ride the elevator. I was like, dude, it's not that serious. It's a fucking elevator. But you guys are like so talking about this like con suite, like it's a big deal. I'm like, who gives a shit? It was not that big a deal. And when you go in there, it's so weird. Three of the five people give a shit, so therefore you are in the minority statistics. <laughs> I remember it was me and Kyle who got in there. We were gonna go, and like it, it, it. It got, like, a little difficult. We're like, fuck it, I don't care. Yeah, literally. That's what happened. Like, that's how you can tell how much I'm, I'm into something is by, like, the difficulty I'm willing to deal with. And, like, the moment that I was like, uh, this takes effort, I don't care anymore. I just, I'm done. I didn't want, I mean, because I remember going up there before, and it was just like, it's weird. I mean, it's really like you go up there into a hotel room, and, like, all these people are chilling out in there. And, like, when you walk in and no one recognizes you, it, like, the room goes fucking silent as shit. And they just stare at you when you walk in, like, who are these people? You go get your cookies and your little juice cup and you walk out. I'm like, that's not worth it. It's not worth it. Well, let me drop this on you, my man. Check this out. Yo, what if the fucking sweet, right? What if it had fucking purple bunny rabbit puff tail ale IPA for free? Oh, I don't and then they had IPA. some. It's not worth it. Not Whatever the fuck you it is, you drink that crazy ass shit that if you it was bought an off open that game bar, show. That's a different story. An open bar, we're talking about like, oh, I want to say, so here we go. I want a drink. I want a screwdriver. I want a Long Island see something like that. I'm gonna spend like seven or eight bucks at a bar. That's worth it rather than going up there and getting some fucking seven or eight bucks. I could buy three packs of those shitty ass fucking cookies, like fucking <laughs> full packs. Like I'd be eating cookies for days on that motherfucker. I'm not gonna. It's not worth the effort to go up there and have to cram in this elevator, go up top, deal with fucking bitch ass security and everything for like for you four cookies but see my man <laughs> bitch you ass think it's security. subjectively i'm being objective a lot of motherfuckers like cookies <laughs> and those motherfuckers that like cookies will take a couple steps we'll take a couple elevator rides with some smelly motherfuckers because those <laughs> cookies is waiting for us <laughs> nope so it's just because you don't like cookies as much as we do oh no i like not... cookies but this you don't like cookies effort. you ain't you a cookie poser <laughs> <laughs> you a fake ass cookie. You ain't fat. You ain't nothing. You ain't not- <laughs> I know I got a slice of pizza around here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, man. It's like if it was free booze, you would probably take those extra steps because it's like free not, whatever you like. I might, but it, it depends, like the amount of work it would take. And like if it, it depends felt- on if it was something that you said instead of something I said. No, 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 no. If it was a lot of work to get up there, and for that, I I'm not going to go. No, <laughs> because you you started your your thing with. Now, if it was an open bar, that would be different. No. Until Evan pointed it out, and then it stopped being different. It, it, yeah. so, <laughs> for me, no, for me, it really all comes down to how difficult it is. Like if it's, I go up there and I got to deal with some shit in an elevator and stuff like that, and some some security people, and I can get in and get it. 
maybe. But if it's like that situation where it's like, no, you have to get on the elevator and go downstairs and go stand in a line to get back on the elevator to go upstairs <laughs> just to get some fucking cookies or even just to get some fucking alcohol, I'll just walk over to the goddamn bar and buy some alcohol. I'll just walk <laughs> over to the fucking coffee place and get some cookies. It's just not worth the effort to me. I'd ha- there are plenty of other things I'd rather be doing than going and getting four stale-ass fucking cookies or a fucking <laughs> beer or whatever from some room upstairs. While a bunch of smelly otaku look at me like, who the fuck are you? Why are you in here? <laughs> Number one, you just insulted our fan base. Number two, I insulted these cookies us. weren't stale. They were delicious. <laughs> Number three, that brings me to another question. I've been meaning to bring this up forever. How does the security compare at AWA versus Dragon Con? I honestly can't remember. Do you remember anything about that? The only thing I remember, I haven't been to Dragon Con. The only thing I remember that irritated me about security at, uh, at AWA was that time we were all in that line. And we've been standing there for like fucking 30 or 40 minutes waiting to get in this place. And the guy just decided, or whoever it was, just decided they were going to bring this other line up next to us and just merge them together. When all the people that should be at the back of the line, I've been standing here for 40 minutes, are now in front of me. Oh, yeah. Fuck that person. Fuck, what were we standing in line for? That was Sunday. I remember that. Yeah. So I think the security's not as bad but mm-hmm. it's like saying like uh this pile of shit's only been here 10 minutes so it doesn't smell quite as bad as this other pile of shit that's <laughs> been here for you know this long it it still sucks and i think it's just because of size thing like there's so many more people at dragon con that the security is just that much more that's because there are more people because they need more security yeah and there's a percentage of people who are assholes and the more people you have the more there are this is true and also like <laughs> the less training they get too because it's That's like true. we just need so many people we can't train all of you we just need somebody to stand here and be a dick for like three hours <laughs> oh i've been working at this my whole life i'm ready <laughs> i got 32 years of experience i'm gonna be the best dick you've ever met <laughs> I forgot to mention, this is kind of important. They're going to be premiering the new Devilman series there on Saturday night. Oh, really? So we should definitely go check that out. Yeah. That's one of the things that's like, a lot of times at anime conventions, people are so busy, like, walking around trying to get drunk or fucking, you know, be cosplayers that they forget to actually watch anime. You know, that's what all the video rooms are there for. And, you know, when you go in there, a lot of times there's a bunch of empty seats. Like, when we went to the Midnight Anime thing, there was like 15 people there in a fucking whole room full of people. It could have been fucking packed out, but everybody else is off doing well, some, some shit. I don't, well, sometimes I, there's I shit I don't the want to watch either. I think the opposite of that, really. Like, if I want to watch anime, I'd watch that at home. Yeah, the only time yeah. I've ever wanted to go watch something was when it was like, I don't really know if I want to spend money on this. Maybe I'll just check it out. And then if I checked it out for a few minutes and it's something I was like, yeah, I'd spend money on this, then I probably would get up and leave. I think we watched a couple of episodes of Golden Boy one time, which I'd never seen. So I was like, that's mm. fine. But Speaking of which... I uh, I just learned hot off the presses that Saturday Night Manime that we usually see has been substituted for black exploit black exploitation marathon, which could be equally as awesome and manly. So I'm pretty excited about that. Maybe some Black Belt Jones, some Truck Turner. <laughs> Truck Turner. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, black, that's gonna be great. It's black Dynamite. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Anaconda malt liquor makes you. Oh! <laughs> oh man so what else Evan what else are you looking forward to uh, there's, a, there's a couple of things they have for yokai they have a couple of yokai panels which is uh, for those who don't know it's Japanese monster folklore it's kind of like uh, you know the Ireland has fairies uh, Japan has oni which is like if you don't know what that is it's like the big the big red or blue monsters that look mm-hmm. like devils, they're usually dressed in some kind of, like, tiger cloth. They usually have big-ass, you know, clubs or, yeah. or steel bars. And it's basically there's a lot of people that are going to be talking about that. So that should be cool because that's one of my biggest interests in the in the whole Japanese cultures because it's got such great folklore. So they got that. Quick, um, Evan. Ipondara. What is it? I don't know what that one is. You don't I don't, know? That's, the, that's the one-eyed umbrella thing. No, those are called uh, Gossas. Are they? Yeah. I thought they were called Empanadas. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. I believe they still have one yeah, eye, though. Sh- I like Empanadas. I usually get them when I go to a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. But um, let's see. They have... Um, I'm trying to see what else they have here. I'm, tr- I'm looking for the hentai panel because I always miss out on it. I wanted to check it out. So well, you know, some of those panels, too, like... 
they look, they sound cool, but when you go into them, they're really not. Like, they're just really awkward, you know, or it's like the person didn't really plan that well, or you get into what happened in the um, Oh My Goddess panel, which is like the guys doing the panel are, are fairly knowledgeable, but people in the audience think they're more knowledgeable, and it becomes like an interrupt and, like, throw in your two cents and make it awkward. That's why I left that panel. Well, the thing is, it wasn't it wasn't a... Uh... It didn't have uh, subtitles. Yeah. And the people who were saying what they were saying, I don't think they spoke Japanese. I think they just watched it so many times that they know what people are saying in that scene. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm looking at the, uh, the schedule as we're talking. I swear to you, <laughs> there's something on here that says making donuts, ellipsis, in hell. Is that an anime? It sounds like it could be. I have no fucking idea what it is. It just says making donuts in hell. Maybe it's like um that anime that's about the guy who is the devil and he starts working at McDonald's or something. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, that was a part timer. That's going to be playing there too. I saw that. Yeah, that's that's pretty fun. They got Doctor Slumps playing. They got a there's oh wow a ton. There's so, a ton of stuff that's going to be playing. That's a City Hunter. A bunch of great ones. They got a couple Lupin. City games. Hunter. Holy shit. City Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's i mean they usually do have a lot of good stuff playing but it's just kind of like i, I i'm always like well do i want to just sit in this room and watch anime mm-hmm. or do i rather be out there seeing things and checking stuff out or whatever so it depends like if there's nothing going on i just want to sit down and usually i'm okay yeah let's go in there sure why not <laughs> oh man what you can do is you can send us a text and be like, hey, are there any seats in the Ricky O anime panel? And we'll be like, yep, and then you can sit down. You know, that's what I did at, at PAX. I'd be like, exactly. I'd walk around and then I'd text the guys who are watching the League of Legends finals and I'd be like, hey, y'all have any empty seats? They're like, yeah, a match just let. I'm like, hold me while I'm on my way. And then I'd sit down <laughs> and watch a match or two and then I'd get up and go back out. So I'm looking at one on Thursday night called The Worst Animated Anime. Shane, what was that fucking anime that we rented from Comics Plus that time? It was like a high school, and like it was like one dude who kind of looked like the guy from River City Ransom. He had a, the blue suit on, and he was like fighting people, and like they were turning into monsters. It was like your normal rape and pillage violent anime. It was like Battle Royal, not Battle Royale, Battle School or Royal School. Do you know I what don't I'm remember about? it. I don't remember. It sounds familiar, but I don't remember it. I'm I'm gonna wager one dollar here. On the karaoke, on the karaoke, mm-hmm. on the fucking, I'm looking at karaoke, on the on the the offenders podcast that that's going to be included. <laughs> if it's not included, I have to give a dollar to myself. <laughs> if it is included, I'm going to give a dollar to myself. Okay, that's nice. what you call win win, yeah, <laughs> or lose lose depending on how you look at it. That's a damn fine point. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I think. Um... I usually just kind of go with the flow, too. Like, I don't... There's very rarely that I'm like, oh, I want to go see this or this or this. I just kind of go with what you guys are up to anyway, so. But it should be fun. Good times, as always. Tenchi Muyo Madness, that could be awesome. Uh, When are you going up? Are you going up Thursday afternoon? Yeah, uh, the... Let me see what time shit starts on. I think it starts around 6 on Thursday. Mm -hmm. So I wanted kind of to... I wanted to get up to the hotel first, check in... Yeah, around 6. Around 6 is when everything starts up. So get to the hotel, check in, drop the shit off, and then head over, get our badges, and just kind of wander around, probably get some food. So about 6? It was when we get up there, so I guess I guess I'll pick up Shane somewhere around, like... Totally not going. 3? Totally not going. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Really? Yeah, we had this discussion. Go? Oops. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Shane had this discussion. He fucking hates you, Evan. It's over. It's done. That's what it is. It's over. It's over. Oh, over. no, it's over. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> Silly bitch. <laughs> but, yeah, I was just curious because I was trying to figure out what time I wanted to get up there, too. Because I don't have any class on Thursday, so. I yeah, I would say. Uh, you don't have any class on any day. Well, <laughs> that's true. That's true. I thought, yeah, as, I record as long as you get up there. <laughs> And we should probably end the podcast. All right, now we're we just lost all you'll, our listeners. You'll never Thanks. know. Hey, we might have gained some from that motherfucker. What you talking about? <laughs> no, but yeah. So Thursday about six because yeah, stuff starts that night. So. Yeah, six p.m. going on till about midnight. I think they have stuff going on on Thursday. 
So that'll definitely be fun. Cool. Well, so if you're listening to this and you're going to be at AWA, you should let us know. You should post something on our Facebook page so we know. And if there's enough interest, maybe we'll all try to meet up at some point. Because yes. Evan doesn't have his panel this year. Uh, and then we I totally, was lazy, totally my fault. I didn't put in the ship in time. Well, we totally we didn't per- put in our Gaggy yeah. No Sukai panel. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all your fault, though. So we're just going <laughs> to stick with that. Makes life easier to live that way when you blame others, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking like, <laughs> it's, um, Yeah. I mean, I'm not arguing. I'm just trying to be like, yeah, I mean, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, I'm Evan. <laughs> Boy, I'm confused. I'm Kyle. <laughs> and I'm Shane. I'm Goodbye. <laughs>